Hi there, I'm Jamie Anderson. I've played the guitar for over 40 years and I've been teaching since 2000. And I'm going to show you two finger picking patterns that will work for almost any song. Now when I mean finger picking pattern, I mean I'm plucking each string individually like this. It's also known as an arpeggio. Okay? So before you tackle uh, finger picking, you really should know how to strum and be able to change at least a few chords without stopping. You don't have to be Eric Clapton, but you should have some proficiency because finger picking tends to be a little more challenging. So a few terms here. When I say a string number, I'm counting from the bottom. One is the bottom string, then two, next string, three, four, five, six. And when I'm talking about finger picking, I'm using my thumb, index finger, middle finger, my yoga teacher calls this the passion finger, which I think is very polite. <laughs> and your fourth finger or ring finger. Some people like to rest their little finger uh, just below the sound hole in their finger pick, and some people lift it up. Either way is fine. So I'm going to show you the first finger picking pattern, and this one is good for songs in 4-4. Four, four. So you're going to hit the bass note, which for the G chord is the top string. Then the third string, which you're going to use your index finger on. Next finger, the middle finger on the second string, and then the third finger on the bottom string. So here's the pattern. Bass, three, two, one. Bass, three, two, one. Now I'll show you a close up a little later so you can see exactly what my right hand is doing. Or for you left hand players, your left hand. Bass, three, Two, one. Here's a close up of my right hand. Bass, three, two, one. Bass, three, two, one. I'm on a G chord. I'm going to speed it up a little. Bass, three, two, one. Bass, three, two, one. So you need to do this a lot until the muscle memory locks in and you don't have to think about what your fingers are doing. So let's do that again and I'm going to speed it up a little bit this time. Bass, three, two, one. Bass, three, two, one. Bass, three, two, one. Now I'm using the side of my thumb and the fleshy part of each finger. You can use finger picks if you like. These are the ones that I sometimes use. There is a pick that fits on the thumb, one that fits on each finger. These are plastic, you can also get metal ones. I like how the plastic ones sound the best. And again, bass, three, two, one. And that gives you a sharper, clearer sound, but there's certainly nothing wrong with picking with your bare fingers. Some people like to take off the finger picks and play just with a thumb pick, which is cool, okay? So practice that picking pattern just on one chord, and once you get that chord mastered with that picking pattern, try another chord. Then, change chords with it. Now I'm going to do a full measure of each chord back and forth, G and C. Now a full measure is that pattern through twice, so it'll be bass, Three, two, one, bass, three, two, one, change, bass, three, two, one, bass, three, two, one. And just do this over and over again till whoever you live with runs screaming into the street. <laughs> Back to the C. See if you can speed it up a little. Now, here's a song that you can use with this finger picking pattern. All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go, I'm standing here outside. 
outside your door I hate to wake you up to say goodbye But the dawn is breaking, it's early morn The taxi's waiting, he's blowing his horn Already I'm so And that's Leaving on a Jet Plane, written by uh, John Denver. Some of you may know the version that uh, was performed by Peter, Paul, and Mary, and lots of other people have played it, too. If you speed it up... So kiss me and smile for me Tell me that you'll wait for me See how nice that fits in? Uh, and this picking pattern will work for anything in 4-4. Four, four. Hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came it's a brown eyed girl. Um, Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago. Now, if you're not sure if a song is in 4 4 or 3 4, again, try the picking pattern that I just showed you. And if that doesn't work, try this next one. This next one is for songs in 3-4 time, or waltz time. And the picking pattern is this. Bass, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. Bass, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. Again, play it over and over again until that memory in your fingers is there. So this starts out like the other picking pattern, but it's very different. Again, I'll give you a close-up of my hand in just a minute. Bass, three, two, one, two, three. Bass, three, two, one, two, three. Here's a close-up of what my right hand is doing for this picking pattern. And again, I'm on a G chord. Bass, three, two, one, two, three. Bass, three, two, one, two, three. So again, try playing it back and forth one measure each. We're going to do G to C again. So ready and bass three, two, one, two, three. Bass three, two, one, two, three. Bass three, two, one, two, three. This also. Uh, works for a lot of different songs, not as many as the first one, but uh, it works great for House of the Rising Sun. There is a house in New Orleans, they call the rising sun. This also works for Hallelujah. Um, technically, this song's in 6 8 or 12 8, depending on who you talk to, but trust me, this picking pattern works for it. I heard there was a secret card that David played, and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care.
right, so some things to remember when you're working on these two picking patterns. One, play them slowly and practice, then you can speed them up. Once you master it with one chord, play it back and forth on two different chords. Well, thank you very much for joining me. If you'd like further instruction, I do teach via Skype from anywhere in the world, and there's where you can reach me. I also teach in my home studio in Ottawa, Canada, and when I'm on tour, I sometimes pick up students. So uh, contact me or go to jamieanderson.com and you'll find out more information about what I do. Thanks a lot.